Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel, my name is Marcelo and this is my first video so I am quite excited but uh, it's difficult to me to talk to like in front of the camera, I'm still getting used to it. Please if you have any tips or something like that that could help me please post here something uh, in the comments that well can be useful. Uh, anywho, uh, today we're gonna talk about a post that it was seen in the Twitter by Sebastian, uh, the creator of Fast API. So basically, he says that we are able to deploy a Fast API application in less than 10 minutes with the new sponsor, the gold sponsor, the first one, uh, Data. So sorry if I pronounced it wrongly because I don't know how it's pronounced. I think it's Data, Data, Data. Uh, in Portuguese, Portuguese will be Data. In Spanish, Data. Yeah, I don't know. Data. It's good. Uh, okay. So uh, let's get into it. So basically, go here. Okay. Yeah. First, uh, before doing this video, yeah, I've tried it. Uh, I had one blocking point that I was gonna talk about it uh, in some minutes. So, but let's go. First of all, I'm not going to read step by step. I'm gonna be fast, but I'm gonna say what it is supposed to do. Okay. So, but if you read fast, if you pause the video, you're gonna see it, and I think there is no problem to you. I hope that we can do this together. And yeah, so let's go. So first of all, we're gonna create uh, a folder. Okay, so a directory with uh, the name of the application that we want. So data fast API sounds good. So we're gonna open VS Code, and uh, we're gonna follow uh, what it says here. So first of all, we need to create our main file. Uh, so uh, let's new file. Let's create the main.py, and here we're gonna create this uh, simple fast API application. So let's let's go step by step here, which is uh, it's pretty simple. But let's go here if you are not familiar with this awesome framework. Uh, we're gonna be after seeing this. So basically here, first line we import uh, the fast API class, okay? So uh, that's pretty simple, straightforward. And here we create our application, app, which is a fast API application. And here on line 6 to 13, we have our two endpoints. And they are pretty simple. Uh, it's just to demonstrate how to deploy a, a fast API application. So uh, Sebastian, uh, Sebastian <laughs> didn't make it too complicated. So here we have uh, a home a root endpoint, uh, which basically returns uh, a response that contains a JSON with uh, a dictionary being hello the key and world the value. Okay, and the other one, it's items is slash item ID. So if you know FastAPI or if you are familiar with the framework, you know that what FastAPI does is it gets what is here in the decorator and it puts that value into this variable here, uh, which is uh, which has the same name as the one that you have in your decorator, okay? So item ID is going to be an integer. Uh, it just, it's just a simple uh, endpoint, so it's going to return uh, a key being item ID and the value being the value that you actually submitted in the path parameter in your endpoint, in your request, okay? So, yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. And uh, Let's see what are the next steps. Okay, uh, we need to create the requirements. So, let's go there and create a requirements file. So new file, requirements, and it says only to import fast API, okay? So let's do as it says. Uh, okay, so it says that you don't need to install UVCorn to deploy on data, but uh, it's good to test your application locally. So uh, we're gonna install it locally. Uh, I'm gonna create a new environment, gonna create, uh, I'm gonna call it, wait, let me see the command again, Opa, sorry. Conda create. Uh, okay, so we're gonna call it data. Data. Data is fine. And that's gonna create uh, and it's gonna be ready in three, two, one. Yeah, perfect. So conda activate uh, activate data, and we're gonna pip install UVCorn. Okay, and also we're gonna install uh, fast API. 
Okay, perfect. So UV core. Uh, and the name of the application. So it's on um, main and app. We're gonna enable the reload, but it's not needed actually. Just this one should work. Perfect. It works. Uh, if you want to, if you are in development mode, uh, you actually want a flag called uh, reload, so you are able to change your file and receive the modifications automatically to your UV corn server. Okay, but for this we don't need it. We're gonna check how it looks like. So you see that this is the endpoint that we created, and the other one is items slash and the name, uh, the the number that we want. So the item ID. I'm gonna put 100 and it works. I'm gonna put it 90, 90, 99 and it works as well. Uh, perfect. So we're gonna see if the docs are okay. So as you guys know or not or don't know, uh, FastAPI has the Swagger UI natively, so which is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. It works. So let's go back to our. Uh, tutorial and well it says that we're structure it's going to be the one that we have here it's cool and we're gonna create a free data account now uh, I've already created okay uh, but basically start for free uh, you create it's very simple uh, it's really fast so you're gonna see a screen like this username password email it's going to send you an email to confirm that you are the owner of that email and then you're going to be able to log in here okay so I'm gonna put my credentials here uh, let's see if it worked yeah uh, it worked perfect so yeah uh, so install this CLI okay let's go there uh, it's just this command I'm gonna install it here uh, let's see ah, oh yeah it finished okay very well so data is installed and we're gonna check if it's here oh it's here cool uh, perfect we're gonna go <coughs> we're gonna use data help well it's installed so we don't need to do that uh, if you have problem uh, installing this CLI just check it here there's the documentation uh, whoa Oh, love this. Uh, okay, but there's nothing too complicated. Uh, if by any case you have a problem installing it, if uh, you, the, your path is not being recognized, uh, you just need to echo and instead of the name uh, here, you should put your path, okay? So, and then it will work. Just export it to your uh, RC file rc file uh, I use zsh but if you use bash uh, is this is the analogous command you just need to put uh, bash rc at the end and it will work okay <coughs> so yeah very well login okay so we're gonna do login uh, first we're gonna go to the to our file which is uh, data fast API we're gonna data login okay it's gonna to redirect you to the to your browser and to the credentials, so it worked. It looked like, let's see. Okay, it worked. Login is logged in successfully. Perfect. So we're gonna go here and now we're gonna deploy your application. Oh, that was fast, I think. Uh, I don't know how, how long we've been doing this, but it's really fast because I've, I've, I've wasted some time explaining stuff. Waste some time. Uh, okay, so let's go there. Did a new. And let's see what happens. Uh, okay, perfect. It created some data for us. So and it's adding the dependencies very well. Uh, so this step is going to take some minutes. Uh, I think three or four, or maybe five minutes. Yeah. And you're going to be able to see your endpoint, your your application here. Okay. Uh, but right now it is still adding the dependencies. So. What I'm going to do is skip this video until the moment that it finished. Okay? Okay, so it finished. Uh, I don't know why, but it said invalid character uh, looking for beginning of value. I'm not sure why this is happening, but it worked. So we're gonna see this endpoint. And well, uh, it's actually working, but it's unauthorized. So what you're gonna do it's follow the tutorial what which says that uh, 
uh, it should work yeah but it's not we would we actually need to oh wait it doesn't work because by default that will handle authentication using cookies for your account okay uh, but we are not using the cookies here very well so but once you are ready you can make it public okay let's make it public so we can access it okay so just disabling it's really fast disable okay it's fast uh, okay let's try again Da, da, da. <gasps> it worked! So amazing. Uh, let's see the other endpoints. The other one, right? Uh, okay, it works. And now the last one. It's the documentation. Very well. It works as well. And if you're not aware, FastAPI has this redoc as well as an alternative for the docs. So you have both your endpoints here. Okay? So it worked. That's cool. And oh wait, uh, you are able to check the visor. So let's is fast API data fast API. Let's see what is called visor system working. So how it's now go to the uh, you'll see. Okay, 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 very well. Uh, okay, oh cool, cool, cool. Uh, we are able to see the responses. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Very well, let's see our history here. Oh, that's very cool, that's very cool. Uh, okay, I like it. But if it's unauthorized, it, we don't we don't get it here. Okay, that's that's not a problem, I think. Uh, yeah, that's cool, I love it. Very well, uh, you can also edit then and replay then. Really? <gasps> I can! Oh my god, that's cool. Let's see, it worked. Oh, it works. Let, that's cool. Items one. Let's see what happens here. Okay, okay, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I like this. Very well. It finished. Let's see. Well, that's it. That's it. Thank you for your attention here. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I know that I was only reading it, but this is my first video. Yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna continue to create those videos, the that content and. Of course, if you have uh, any questions, if you have, if you want to suggest some theme, uh, subject, topic that uh, you think is cool uh, and I know about it, uh, or I can study about it and provide to you guys in a simpler way, uh, I'm here to do that. Uh, as I said, this is my first video, but I'm quite excited about this. And yeah, if you go to the Fast API uh, repository and open an issue with questions, I'll be there to answer, and others will be there to answer. We are a very nice community, so hope to see you there. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Bye bye.